as far as I understand from my pulse on the industry, there was the expected CPM drop. Like after the after at the start of the new, like you can just you can kind of set your watch to that a little bit, Absolutely. right? Like Absolutely. Costs are going to go massive before the end of the quarter, and they're going to drop at, right. at, at the beginning of the new quarter. Yeah. Um, for now, and that's just from that's just brand dollars. You think that that flood into the space and and take a while to to warm up and and to eat up all Absolutely. the. All this so, so the first time I experienced that was in uh, 2015, and um, we were spending significant sums at that point. Um, and I did get insight from a Facebook strategist that they're aware of this. They're aware of big, big, big brands dropping big budgets at the end of um, March because the if they don't spend it, they lose it. And it's all commission-based, so they want to make sure that they're maximizing reach and things like that. Um, and I've also been told by a huge media buyer working for one of the biggest agencies in the world, there's only like a handful of agencies doing this. This is not like a big influx of big um, companies and agencies. There's just a handful that do this. And so that has a big impact on the auction. And if, if people have noticed from 1st and 2nd and 3rd of April, CPMs have come down. But what, what hasn't changed is the uh, conversion rates that people are seeing they are still fluctuating, and that's the biggest problem. So regardless of your cost coming down, I, I really think that there's something going on in the background with Facebook that they're not able to give you the consistency that they have been over the last few years. You think because they're, they're, they're taking their hands off of some of the advanced targeting capabilities or they're, they're experimenting maybe with, their, with the level of, of effectiveness of their targeting because of all the, the bad press? I think a combination of both, but I think they are looking to optimize the um, auction. So I saw a white paper which was released. Um, I don't think it was meant to be public, but they're looking at increasing the quality of the ad placements so that you're able to get higher conversions for lower spend. And, you know, that's like the ultimate goal for you to make sure that you're spending less and getting more out of it. And if that means that you're then spending less, potentially there's more auction space. So what Facebook are looking at right now is how can they open up more space? You know, there's been talk about running ads in groups, for example. Marketplaces just come up. Um, there, there was this kind of click to um, WhatsApp a CTA that came up. So they're looking at different ways of monetizing the platforms to give you even more reach. But the problem is, like, how, how do they keep on providing this? Because the more reach they give... People like me and you are just going to keep plowing in more money. We're not going to step back and say, right, we're happy spending this amount. This amount. We're just going to keep putting money in. So that's the, the, the challenge that Facebook have right now. Um, and, and they're trying to balance that between giving good inventory and giving good response in terms of targeting and conversion. At the same time, users are becoming wary of some of the strategies that have been used in the past. And um, I put a lot of the blame on dropshippers. You know, you look at some of the ads that are out there that have been performing over the last few years, they've, they've slowly stopped um, performing because users are getting worn of the same old um, strategy of uh, video and some emojis and just some short text and things like that. So there's lots of things that are kind of challenging each other, which are causing what's happening right now in the auction. Yeah, uh, and, and then having bad customer experiences and then becoming Absolutely. wary of, of everything. Yeah, it's a really and, and, interesting and, 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 field. Yeah, and actually, look, you, you know, one of the recent um, tools that Facebook have put out is being able to review the purchase that you just recently made. Like, why would they do that? Why would they care? Well, the thing is, because dropshippers, um, and, you know, I, I've, I've done a bit of dropshipping, so I'm, I'm as guilty. Dropshippers have affected the quality of the user experience. And so Facebook want to make sure that they are demoting those that are essentially giving people a bad experience. Yeah. Uh, you know, you mentioned there, uh, and this will be my, my subtle, subtle bridge here, you mentioned, you know, our reaction when Facebook raises their prices or maybe diminishes our access to our...